Hi, this is Will Harvey from Finale. I'm going to give a demonstration of making stock changes either to individual items or on a collection of items all in one fell swoop as a batch. We're going to look at an account that has some some pies, like a bakery account. Uh, to begin with, just to get our bearings, I'm going to look at the stock that we currently have on hand. And then in this example, we're going to change that stock by adding some additional pies and look at the result. So I have this filtered over here to items that have the word pie and berry in it. So I'm looking only at the berry pies. And I see a boysenberry pie, mixed berry pie, strawberry pie, identified by product IDs, part numbers K1008, and so forth. I have I, the quantities that I currently have are 270, 140, and 250. And they're in sublocations in my warehouse and 101. So pay attention to the strawberry pie. K1013 is its identifier, and I have 250 of them in stock right now. My objective in the first part of this demo is just to change that number by adding 5 to it. Let's say that 5 showed up, I miscounted 5 showed up that I didn't realize I had, and now I want to make that adjustment to my stock levels. Go to the home page, stock changes, type in straw, there it is, strawberry pie. Uh, it tells me conveniently that I have 250 in that sublocation. I don't have any lot ID or packing or serial number. And instead of setting it to a number, I'm just going to add 5 to it. So it's going to go from 250 to 255 and make a note. Adjustment for miscount. Click OK. That's all there is to it. I'll go back now and look at the stock. Remember, it used to be 250, so now we're going to look at the strawberry pie. 255. So that's how you change the stock of an individual item. If you wanted to change the stock of a number of items all at once, like a return or a shipment or an adjustment arrive, and you're going to change 100 items at once, then one by one isn't, isn't that efficient. It's more efficient to change them all in a batch by having a list of items and the quantities uh, that you want to change for all of the items. So I'll go to stock changes again, but instead of the quick stock change that we just did, we'll do a batch stock change. Import and do batch stock change. We'll do it all to one sublocation in our warehouse. If you have a warehouse that's divided into multiple sublocations, then you can indicate the sublocations to which you're making changes in your file. But for now, this is simpler. I'll just make all the changes to this sublocation. And basically, I just have to copy and paste a list of rows from Excel or from uh, Word or any list of items with one column, basically identifying what items I want to change, and then a parallel column indicating the numbers that I'm, the deltas or the changes. So I'll open up Excel and type in product ID as a first column and quantity as a second column. The product ID of the strawberry pie was K1013 and I'll add 10 more. The other two product IDs of pies that we're paying attention to are that and that. I'll add 10 to each of those as well. And uh, now I just have to copy and paste. So select, copy, paste. Now that file could have 10,000 items in it. If I was importing my inventory and I had a large number of items in stock. So what we just did with three items, uh, the efficiencies add up if you're doing 10,000 or even 100,000 items. So there they are, the products, IDs, changes. Click next, commit, next, and go take a look. View stock, strawberry pie, 265. So that's it. That's all you have to do to make stock changes on an individual basis or to a collection of items all at once.